it is a windy one to say the least. Let's get some fluke stuff out of here because we don't have very long before the end of fluke season. So I want to be able to get you guys on some fluke. And if you have done fluke trips with me, you know the secret bait. So I'm going to expose it here in the video. Let me just get some stuff out first. All right. So here is the secret bait or one of the secret baits that I've been catching a ton of fluke on, especially keepers. And uh, I've been putting a lot of clients on fluke with this. All right, so this is probably one of the coolest baits you'll ever use for fluke. And yes, gulp will work. Other things like that will work. I'm gonna show you some other things, but the killer lately, and you know if you're in the back bays at all, you see a ton of peanut bunker. Check out this bait right here. This is a Sixth Sense Panorama 3.5. I believe this is the, oh, we have it right here. This is the gizzard shad, the live gizzard shad. I've gone through so many of these it's unbelievable only because I've been catching tons of fluke on them it's they're insane Texas rigged so I've been I've had these baits in my in my truck for probably seven eight months and I haven't used them and then all of a sudden I was like what the heck let's try it so I Texas rigged it I found that the the key to doing that is really light line and a super light rod so this is eight pound mono as a leader I have it FG knotted down to about I think seven feet worth of leader onto eight pound J braid kidding it's eight pounds super slick, Power Pro super slick. I have a eighth ounce tungsten head right here. That is also a Sixth Sense one. The cool thing about it is like Sixth Sense has a lot of really cool baits, but they have something in almost every category, fresh water, salt water. So it's just easier for me to, to get everything in one spot. Plus you guys know if you've been watching for a while, you get the discount for Sixth Sense. I got it on a eighth ounce tungsten bullet weight. It's not pegged. I don't have any any pegs here, no bobber stoppers. On a two aught EWG, you can also use a worm hook. The worm hook's gonna be a little bit less profile, so it's gonna be closer to the bait as opposed to it being that extra wide gap. And just rig it halfway. Where you really want the hook is about here. You know, right at that point, uh, if you get a 3.0, a 3.0 is going to work just fine too. But really, you want you want it to be where that is, so you still have that tail action, and you don't want to peg it because when you're fishing current, which is most likely any situation where where fluke are, you're going to have that bullet weight. When you put slack down in the line, that bullet weight is going to sit in that sand, but that current is going to pull just like that. So you're going to have this flapping around in the current and continue to pull and be slack instead of it being pegged to it or on a jig head where that's in the bottom and you're just being moving around like that. You have that extra slack where it's just working in the water and getting that reaction from the fluke. All right, so this has been the killer bait. If you're on my Instagram, you'll see I've been posting this nonstop. So what rod do I have it on? This is a St. Croix Triumph six foot six. It's a bass rod, it's not the inshore. It's a bass rod, six foot six, medium light, fast action. I have it matched up to, you know, it doesn't have to be this reel, but it's just a super lightweight reel. It just makes the, the setup feel that much better. It's a uh, Shimano Stratic CI4 Plus, which is what the Vanford replaced. You can find these reels all over eBay. It's a 2500 series, and it's just, it's a really great reel. And if you can find it on eBay, it's a lot cheaper than what the Vanfords are going for. So go ahead and get that. But yeah, that's the secret setup. If you have any questions, hit me up on Instagram. All the links for everything that I'm talking about will be down in the description below. None of the companies that I'm talking about pay me to say any of this. So this is all what I found out. I'm gonna put this back. I'm gonna go on to the next bait. All right, so I lied. There is a company that pays me. This is this is my silicone jig. So I make these and I sell them. So these are smooch release silicone jigs. This is gonna be the next bait. I also sell these grubs on the website. Uh, these are little four inch curly tails, but you can find whichever brand you want in the stores. But you can ask my clients. You can check the videos. The silicone jigs catch fluke. They flat out catch fluke. But this I have on a... It's, it's a teaser rig, essentially. So I have the jig on the bottom. This is a half ounce. And you're gonna wanna adjust based off of, you know, if you're fishing an inlet, you're gonna want a little bit more than a half ounce. Or if you're pitching in close, go a half ounce. Uh, the troughs, a lot of fluke really love this color. I've had so many good uh, reviews on this specific color and these little curly tails. But this is 15 pound monofilament and I have a dropper loop down to a 3.0 a straight shank O'Shaughnessy hook. And uh, you can go down to 2.0, it doesn't really matter. But I got a 3.0 on here. I have some rigs that I've made with the two O's and just having that extra little uh, grub on the top really just attracts some more fluke. Like you'll notice that most of your fluke are going to be hitting this as opposed to the jig, but this jig just gets everything down on the bottom and uh, really essentially puts the weight instead of having a sinker down here. 
I have something down on the bottom where the fluke actually are sitting. So you'll still catch fish on these, but doing that teaser rig with a little grub, you can get Mr. Twisters, you can get gulps, whatever you wanna do. You just put something on top and have a, like a high-low rig essentially, kind of like this, but it's more along the lines of a teaser. And I have that uni to uni knot uh, instead of doing a an FG knot. And then I don't have a clip on here. When I'm fishing for fluke, I don't really like to have the clips. I just, I just don't, I just don't like it. But I usually tie direct for both of those. Now you can put these grubs on here. And like I said before, if a company is gonna have something and I'm gonna get a discount, I'm gonna buy them. So you guys know flukes, the, the baits flukes you know uh, bass assassins they make a fluke style bait zoom super flukes but six cents makes this little bait what size is this it's a four inch and these are fantastic whether we're putting them on these um, teaser rigs kind of like this and just throwing it on here whether it's for bass or fluke i've gotten people on fluke with this i've gotten plenty of bass on this alone this is really it's a freshwater bait but if you can find something that works here for us then might as well use it there's no hey, you can't use this in saltwater because it's a, a freshwater bait. But this also pairs really, really well on bucktails. I don't have a bucktail with it, but here's one of the Spikes bucktails. I got a, a paddle tail on here right now, but you can also match it up with this fluke style bait. So this is called the Juggle Minnow. You can find them at Dick's, you can get them on the website, but like I said, anything six cents, you get the, the discount with GRBF as a discount code. I think it's 10% off. But the cool thing about these, as opposed to the Bass Assassins or the Super Flukes, is that it's solid plastic. It doesn't have that, that opening for the hook, it doesn't have that slit for the hook. So when you're rigging it onto a bucktail or onto a straight shank like this, then you're rigging it straight onto a hook as opposed to having that slit and all you're doing is getting that first nose hook and then rigging it through. That's really good for like an EWG or a worm hook style bait. But these work really, really good as bucktail trailers and for little teasers for fluke. And also just regular old fluke style baits for stripers. Cause when there's bait hitting the water on the, on the surface of the water and going all over the place, you throw this on a little EWG or maybe a keel weighted hook or something like that. You're gonna catch some stripers on that as well. So another bait that I don't see a lot of people fishing for fluke with is just a swim bait on a swim bait jig head. Uh, this is also a sixth sense. Like I said, they, they make everything and it's great to just get everything in one box or go to the store and pick out one thing or get the discount. But I fish a lot of swim baits for fluke and in the the mix of it, I get stripers or I'll get some bluefish and, and fishing something that's gonna be able to catch a lot of things, that's really cool too. But there's all different types of styles of swim baits. Sixth Sense makes a bunch of different colors, a bunch of different sizes, but there are a bunch of companies that make similar baits and some work better than others. You just gotta figure out what you like, what, what works with your technique. And essentially, fluke are very opportunistic fish. So are stripers. If there's gonna be something there and they're not full, chances are they're gonna eat it. So just do what works best for you. I like this one. This is the Divine Swim Bait from Sixth Sense with the Divine Swim Bait head. And uh, that's just an eighth ounce. It goes up to quarter ounce, half ounce, or whatever. But I like throwing finesse type style baits for fluke. And that's why I like the medium lights. And for that jig, that's also a medium light. And with that teaser rig, that's a medium light fast from St. Croix with the Legend Tournament inshore seven foot threes. So it's a little bit bigger than that 6.6 six, and it's an inshore rod. So it can handle a little bit more. I think that rod can actually go up to maybe three, three eighth or a half ounce, maybe a little bit more. I'm not too sure, I forget. I, I got so many rods with different ratings, but yeah. There's, there's a ton of different ways to get these, these fluke to bite. And we have very little time before a season's closed and the colder it gets, the farther that these fluke are gonna end up. So go get yourself some juggle minnows, set up some teaser rigs, some swim baits. But if the, if you can really go out and get something, get the Panorama 3.5s from Six Cents, whether you go to the Dick's Sporting Goods or you get them online with the discount, they're gonna catch you fish. And if you doubt it, go on my Instagram. I got plenty of videos and pictures that I've posted of me catching them. It's just the perfect bait that mimics all of the peanut bunker. Like if that that is not a peanut bunker, then I don't know what is. But remember, go finesse, go lightweight, and uh, you'll catch some, catch some fluke. And I'd love to see all the pictures and videos if you guys wanna send them to me through my email right here. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. I appreciate your support. Uh, we got a lot of videos coming out. 
and we have a lot more in the season for striped bass so it's going to be a blast catching some fish and uh, taking you guys out on some guided trips if you want to book a trip i'll link it down below smoochandrelease.com and uh, if you want to buy a hat whatever support the channel uh, that's all going to be down there as well but if you're new hit that red subscribe button join the family and i will see you out on the water eventually i'm sure long island isn't that big all right guys thank you for watching stay real smooch and release and have some fun on the water i'll see you next time Without my love